As manufacturing deadlines grow tighter and their tolerances more demanding, handheld scanning has become a fast and efficient tool for rapid point cloud generation, 3D CAD modeling, and part inspection. But for how important scanning is in everyday manufacturing environments of all volumes, how much do we really know about how they work? In this video, we're going to discuss how handheld laser line scanners work, and we'll be using the brand new API iScan 3D as our reference model. From the scanner itself, to the laser tracker, to the third-party software, there are several components that all must work in unison for scanning to take place. Let's begin with the handheld scanner. There are three features of the scanner that are essential to its operation. The embedded controller, the lasers, and the cameras. The controller is what allows the user to operate the scanner. In iScan 3D, the controller is integral, built directly into the handle for ease of use and faster operation. The controller allows the user to activate the laser for scanning, toggle between scanning and probing functions, and select points for probing measurements. And once the laser is activated, it travels from the scanner until it hits the surface of the part and stops. Crossed blue lasers on iScan 3D allow for easier reading and increased definition on uneven part features and different surfaces and finishes. But if the laser is not reflected and sent back to the scanner, as with a tracker and SMR, how does the scanner gather information on the features of the part? This is where the cameras come into play. Laser line scanners come equipped with HDR cameras that are focused in the same direction as the laser. The camera reads how far the laser traveled to hit the part, records that information as the laser scans over the part, and saves it to transmit that information back to the tracker. The second camera is a 2D sensor that acts as an SMR, capturing the tracker's beam and sending it back so the tracker can follow the scanner's position in space. So why does the scanner need to connect to a tracker? The tracker acts as a fixed point, measuring the scanner's location as it moves to different places and orientations to get the most complete scan of the part possible from a single setup. The tracker combines the information from both cameras to take the HDR read of the part at all of the scanner's various positions to stitch together one document for analysis. This takes us to the final aspect of scanner operation, metrology software. The tracker sends the stitched information from the scanner to the third-party metrology software on a PC. The software uses the information from the tracker to create a point cloud mesh of the scanned part. This mesh can be used to compare to the original CAD data to ensure manufacturing accuracy or to create a new CAD model for future production. In short, handheld laser line scanners send a laser beam out to a manufactured part. Two cameras record the laser's position and communicate that position and the position of the scanner back to a laser tracker. The tracker stitches all of these positions together and sends the values to a third-party software to create a point cloud mesh for CAD model comparison and creation. For more information on scanners and the brand new iScan 3D, please visit apimetrology.com and contact us to speak to a real metrologist today.